peoples all around the world. How are you today? Well, here is my morning drink. Still doing it, even though I'm living in my car on the road again. Um, I bought a big bag of lemons at Costco yesterday. Got a few things, even though they didn't want me to come in without my mask. I was even escorted by a young man, a very tall young man. I said, this is, is this a date? He goes, yep, just me and you. He took me all the way to the back where it was closed and got special permission to go in. This is all accommodating me because I won't wear a mask. Me at the, at the U.S.-Canadian border. So there's my lemonade drink. I squeezed the lemons into a jar, put some maple syrup in. Then I went into a shell station where they always have hot water for coffee. And they let me take hot water for free, even though I offered to pay for it. And uh, there's my drink, nice and hot. Nice and hot and ready to go. That's my break fast. I break my fast each morning. I was going 12 to 16 hours without eating, but then when this all hit, then I had to start changing around to, uh, I need to gain weight now, so I couldn't continue with what I was going to do, a 40-day fast. So I'm going to have my hot lemonade drink. It's piping hot. It's too hot to even hold, so I know it's going to be nice and warm for me. I squeezed it by hand. That's my exercise in the morning to exercise my hands. I don't go pay for a gym so I can go work out with a mask on inside and, you know, literally intoxicating yourself. Breathing in your own toxins that you're giving off as you exercise people are so... But I asked my daughter, what could I use better than using that word, retarded? to describe even her and millennials in general and just people under the spell. And she said mind controlled. She would accept that over being called, you know, ignorant, retarded, stupid, whatever people are calling people. So it's, it's not even their fault that they've this, been indoctrinated like this. So that was her own word, mind controlled. So I'm going to use that more often. Here's my flowers I got at the store. They were, they were so inexpensive. They were only like $3.99, half price. Just got to look for these things. It wouldn't last that long in the car anyway. They are in water. But they'll last me a few days. $4 for a few days of uh, beauty and I did have a plant that that hyacinth broke off of so it is smelling up my car so fragrantly oh it's so nice just these little things are so precious to me and people just ignore them they'd rather pay for plastic and garbage and toxins to put in their pie hole so you might want to consider starting your day off with uh, the master cleanse which is lemon Lemons. Sometimes I put lime in, but I got lots of lemons to use up here. And uh, maple syrup, grade B if you can find it, which would be, now it's great, all grade A, light and dark. So you want to get the dark, which has more nutrients in it. And then the cayenne that I use is 160,000 heat units. And I will even send you some if you send me a... Uh, self-addressed stamped envelope i will you know put it in there like a couple ounces for you it will last you like a year of of he detoxing and healing your body so consider doing the lemonade cleanse i have other videos on that that you could see i did from last year check into that that's what i'm about and Owen is just a, a side thing, but hopefully the audience I bring from that, and that is truth. Why would I get like 300 subs in like less than three weeks? Come on, I'm saying something right here, and the people are agreeing with me, and like I said, I'm going to be 
deleting people's comments who are insulting me or abusing me in any way or not listening to my words when I say I can't go to Canada. I cannot. I am not allowed in that country, even though I lived there for six years and brought my husband and my daughter there. They are both still living there and I had to leave because he did not sponsor me. He did not do his duty. As a man, we were married and he didn't want to pay the $1,800 to make me legal. Then when we got divorced, I had to leave. He was cheating on me with his strange, as he called it himself, his Filipino girl. So, doesn't, you know, that's so unfair that I got treated that way and now he's not helping me even though we had a business I did not account for permit in the business and uh, so he should be ashamed of himself for allowing this to go on and not helping me so I hope you guys uh, consider having your lemonade in the morning and getting healthy and well and knowing me who gets the last laugh and I don't want to be laughed in mankind's predicament right now. I think AI has taken over. I'll talk more about that in future videos. Stay tuned. Goddess and God bless you.